obviously you make it to the NBA, you're a star. Then all of a sudden you sit in the bench. <laughs> it's not it's not that fun, you know. So um, my first year as a rookie here in Seattle, I used to be so frustrated that I wasn't playing enough minutes that I actually used to go downtown and I would play again after the game. I used to be so mad at the Sonics for not playing me enough that I used to come downtown and put a show on for everybody in the city uh, right down the street after the game was over. So they started hearing about those things, saying that you know they they realized that I really wanted to get on the court and made some changes fast. If they weren't going to let me on the court and play, then I was going to let all the fans, the whole city, realize that I could play by going out here showing them after the game was over. <laughs> so I really wouldn't even shower at the game. I put on a sweatsuit and I come back downtown and I would play on these outside courts in front of people. And we started getting these amazing cars where they had to block the traffic off. And then they asked me not to do it anymore. <laughs> Guys don't have that type of dedication anymore.